So Java 15 came out recently. We're going to have a quick overview of features. To get JDK 15, if you're using the latest IntelliJ, you can download it directly from your IDE. You no longer need to go to the website. You can do it right from your IDE. I normally like using Adopt Open JDK, so I am going to use the version 15. If you are not using the latest IntelliJ or using another IDE, you can go to Adopt Open JDK website. Make sure the project SDK and language level is JDK 15 and 15 preview, not just 15, because we are going to test some preview features. Now, before in Java, to have a text like this, you needed the escape sequence. Firstly, we didn't have multi line text, you had to use escape sequences. But with text blocks, we can have a simple looking text like this. We don't need an escape sequence there. And this is just a simple example. Text blocks have other behaviors such as maintaining indentation. I will put links in the description. We also have pattern matching. For example, before, let's say we want to check if this variable SQL statement is a string. We would first say, is it an instance of string? But the issue is, we still have to come down and cast the variable to a string, a very Java-like operation. So why don't we just allow a variable to be created when it is being checked like this? This is the new pattern matching feature. We say SQL statement instance of string, but notice the variable there. The name of the variable I put there is S. It could be any name, just like any variable. But what happens is if SQL statement is a string, S is automatically representing that variable and you can use it in your if statement without having to cast to a string again. Now, let's say we needed a class to hold simple data. For example, SQL info. It holds length and statement. Length is an int, statement is a string. We have the constructor and the getters. So, we want to store the length of the string and the actual string. So, remember that SQL info has two variables. One is an int, one is a string. We create a new object of SQL info and save the length of the string and the actual string itself. We can also go further and implement two string in the SQL info class. Now, as I am going further, you begin to wonder that this SQL info class is just meant to hold two variables or two pieces of information. That is the length and the string information. So why do I need a whole class to do this for me? If you look at the code, all I need is just a data carrier to hold the length of the string and the content of the string itself. But in order to perform that simple operation, I had to create a whole class called SQL info over 20 lines. We can replace it with a record. Isn't this cool? So a record 
we replace those kinds of classes. Now, a record isn't a total replacement of normal POJO classes. For example, in this situation where I have length and statement. If you notice, I don't need to change any code in the main class because the way you create an object of a class is still the same way you create an object of a record. Another very interesting feature in Java 15 is sealed classes. Now, normally in Java, we should be used to the term inheritance. Java is an object-oriented programming language and inheritance is an important feature in Java. So we have a class called vehicle and we have two classes called car and ship. Car can extend vehicle. However, if I make vehicle final, it wouldn't be able to have any subclass. So when you make a class final in Java, that means no other class can extend it. That is one way of preventing a class from having subclasses by making it final. Now, another way you can control inheritance in Java is by making the class package private. For example, we have another package here and I'll create a class there called bike. Let us make this vehicle class public under normal conditions. As it is, bike will be able to inherit or extend vehicle. But if I make vehicle package private, we would have an error. By making vehicle package private, bike wouldn't be able to inherit vehicle. Only those classes in the same package as vehicle will be able to inherit or extend vehicle. So these are the two ways, making it final or package private. But now we have another one called sealed. Sorry for the excitement. So in sealed, you actually specify the classes that can be subclasses of the sealed class. So if I make vehicle sealed, even though a class is in, is in the same package, only those that the vehicle permits can extend it. Now, a class that is permitted to extend a sealed class must either be sealed itself, non-sealed, or final. By being non-sealed, that means it's open up again and another class can inherit the class. So, for example, ship can inherit from car without any problem because car is non-sealed. But if I make car sealed, the first issue is car must specify who it permits. Secondly, if it didn't permit ship, ship will not be able to inherit from car. So, in other words, sealed classes and interfaces, we can have sealed interfaces as well. They restrict which other classes or interfaces may extend or implement them. So you can look at the final modifier as a strong form of ceiling, where extension or implementation is prohibited completely. I will also put some links in the description below for some reference. There are other features that came in Java 15. We have just quickly brushed a few. We expect more in coming releases and I am happy about the quick six months release of Java. See you later.